So this is a rant video about a really entitled lady. No, a really entitled woman. So if you don't want to hear a rant video, just click off. It's fine. Okay. <clears throat> so I just met the most entitled lady. No, she's not a lady. She's a woman, not a lady at PetSmart grooming. So a real lady, she gets inside before I do. And there's a sign clearly posted on the door that says one family at a time. Um, yeah. Um, so I stand outside, like my dog, he likes to go inside the grooming salon room. So he pushes the door, but then I, I'm standing far away. So he can't go inside even if he gets the door open. And <clears throat> I'm waiting there patiently. The, the lady inside, she's waiting to get her dog and she's chatting with the girls inside. Um, young ladies, girls, I'm gonna call them girls for now. Um, young women. Yeah. I'm gonna call them girls. I'm allowed to. Anyway, this entitled woman, as we call her, comes walking up and so I'm standing a few feet away from the door diagonally. Say that the door is right here. I'm standing over here. So she comes in from this direction and she like almost pushes the door open and she's looking inside. She clearly sees that there's a woman, a lady inside. And then she like goes to push the door open and like to go in. And the woman inside like turned it on and I think is like speaking to her, asking her to like shoo. And I was like, oh, hey, wait, you can't like my, my voice is obviously alerted because, you know, it's a cause for alert during this current pandemic, Pan pandemic, I guess it. Um, <clears throat> I said, oh, hey, wait, you can't go inside. Um, she's already in there and I'm waiting in line. Um, I was, and then like this woman's still trying to get inside. She's still pushing the door. Like obviously the door is just you push it open and go inside. But she's still like doing this. And she's not an old woman. She's uh, like my mother's age. She's not old. She's not like a gray old lady. And then um, and then I'm like, oh, unless you're with her. I mean, that's okay. And then she turns around. She's like, I it's fine. I can go in there. My dog's in there. I already paid. And I was like... <laughs> I was like, okay, but you still have to wait because she's already inside. You can't go in there. And she's like, well, you, can, you can calm down. You can lower your voice. Like, obviously, I'm not using this, like, angry voice to talk to her. I'm using this, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no voice, right? Like, there's a difference between, like, blah, 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 and a blah, blah, blah. Like, yeah, my voice is a little elevated. And then she's like, and she kept doing that. She's like, time out. Like, what the hell, woman? I'm not yelling at you. You're not in trouble. I'm just telling you. There's someone inside. I'm in line. You don't go inside. And then she's like, so she like stands a little bit behind me and she's like, oh, F this, F this. She didn't say it that many times, but she said it a few times. So I was like, please don't curse at me. And then like, she she's like, I'm not talking to you. I'm just talking. I was like, there's no one around. And she like, she starts yelling like, don't talk to me like that. I'm not speaking to you. And there's like, the um the vet booth is like over there. I'm pretty sure some people like looked around like who the hell is happening? And I'm like I was like, okay, fine, but don't curse at me. And um and like at one point I'm just like, you know, you're very entitled. Like I straight up told her, like, you're very entitled. Just because okay, just because you're I didn't say this to her. I'm saying this now. Just because you already paid doesn't mean you get to go inside. We are all paying customers, okay? Like, no one's more entitled than the next one. You, when you go to PetSmart to pick up your pet, you, t from grooming, you, you tell them, hey, this is my pet, I'm ready to pick him up. And then they give you a piece of paper, a sheet of paper, and then you take it to the front register, and then you come back, and then they bring your dog out after they see you, like, after you are inside at the booth. So, I, like, like, yeah, when you go to the register, you don't hold your place in line. Nobody get, what, are people going to wait for you to go to the register, pay and come back before they go inside? No, there's no one inside. No one's being serviced. You're not the first in line anymore, lady, woman. And then, so the first lady comes out, she's holding her dog and I like nod at her. Like, obviously we all have our masks on. Like, we not, I don't nod at her. I couldn't smile or anything. And then... I'm going in and then I decide, so there's one of two things I can do. There's probably more things, but there's one of two things I thought of. One is take my sweet time talking to the girls inside, you know, make her wait. The second option is the one I went with was, you know what, let her go first. First, <laughs> let her go about her day. Her day's already, she's already a horrible woman. 
you know, let her have like a little bit, you know, just get her out of here and then I can chat with the girl inside. So that's what I did. I was like, hey, do you guys have this lady's dog? She's really, a, like, I forgot what I said. I, I think like she was really angry or something like that. And then after, so like the door is kind of soundproofish. I wasn't holding my ear up to the door to eavesdrop, but she was animated and she seemed upset when she was talking to the girls inside and she picked up her dog, her scrawny little rat dog. It wasn't a chihuahua, but it was a rat dog. And what annoyed me a little bit more than her attitude was the way she wore her masks. So this is the proper way to wear a mask, my glasses. You gotta press the nose bridge so that it's molded. And then you pull this down so it's covering everything. This is how she wore her mask, okay? <clears throat> Let me flatten this out a little bit. Yeah, so this is a brand new, pretend it's a flat mask. Um, she was wearing her mask, first of all, when she was outside with me, I can't see. She was wearing her mask like this, like with her nose out. And then when she was inside talking to the girls, I was uh, watching her from this angle. She was, she was doing this to speak to them. Her mask was like under, under her lips and <laughs> under her nose like literally this is how much mask she was wearing and I guess she had um her face wasn't uh, the ears weren't stretched as much far back because it was like it was like this like this is how much space it was not touching her face at all and she was speaking to them like she was speaking to them she was holding her mask out like this so she could talk to them so when I went in there <clears throat> after she left I went in there with my dog after patiently waiting I was like and, and then they greeted my dog because they recognized him because he's really cute. And I was like, she was really entitled, right? And they're like, yeah, she's like that. I was like, I was like, it's not just me. <laughs> and they're like, yeah. I was like, and like, she wasn't wearing her mask properly. You guys can't say anything. They said, no, they're not allowed to say anything. Um, I guess just they don't want people to cause a ruckus. Um, as an employee, you have that problem where you're not allowed to cause a ruckus, ruckus um, because the customer's always right in America. Um, yeah, and then I chatted with the girls and we moved on with my, our days. I hope that lady, like, gets it through her head, like, heard the fact that I told her, I called her entitled, and maybe she'll think about it later and be like, maybe I am entitled. I keep calling her a lady. She's a woman. She doesn't get to be called a lady. The one in front of me gets to be called a lady because she was nice. Anyway, that's it. Um, Yeah. How do people get this entitled? And before anyone says anything, she wasn't white. So, like, it's not a race thing. Um, <laughs> okay, bye.